Hey, my loves. It's me, Ravina, sharing with you some of the spaces in my new home. For those of you who have been with me, you know we moved home about 10, 12 days ago, but it sure feels like much, much more. The first step was, of course, to unpack and literally put away things using my intuitive method. This means I put them in a space where I would firstly use it and secondly, instinctively look for it. So while it was important to do this to get rid of all the boxes and the mess, it was equally necessary to get some essential parts of the home functioning, such as the bedrooms, the bathrooms, and of course, most importantly, the kitchen. As with any move, the ultimate aim is to bring your belongings across safely. So one category that I tackled almost immediately was my serveware. I definitely did not want to break any of my precious pieces. In this house, I have much less storage for my dishes and kitchenware. So I added a cabinet that was in my previous office here in the dining area. This is a Besta that I've had since Singapore. It used to be two sections, but now it's four and it has served me so well. So we have 12 squares in shelving, some glass and some wooden. And in case you're wondering, the glass can hold 10 kilos of weight and the wooden shelves can take 20. Anyway, let's get to work. So step one was to empty out the draft layout that we had put in. Mom and I kept decluttering and paring down until we were able to fit all the items that we had into the cabinet. Once we were happy with our organization, we emptied out a few cubbies at the time. This was much safer than piling everything on a countertop. So step two was to wipe all the shelves. Step three is to replace everything back into the cabinet in an orderly fashion. So now let's take a look at the end result. In the first section, I have two shelves and I have a few sets of stem glasses in here. If you look at the bottom of the glass, you will find that I have added these little charms to the bottom of the stems. So if you place your glass anywhere during a get together, you will always know which one is yours. And below that, I have a set of versatile bowls, which can be used for individual servings of yogurt, lentils, a side of soup, and even for a table serving of dip. And here I have all my serving dishes for hors d'oeuvres. These small dishes are also great for multiple servings of sauces and dips round the table. Below that are my condiment dishes. Having like items together makes it very easy to find and select what you need for any occasion. Below that are some small serving dishes in pairs. We eat our meals as a family of seven when our mini adults are home. Our dining table is this eight-seater, so there are certain foods like buns or flatbreads that should be served at each end of the table. Bowls such as these double for service of condiments such as jams, nuts or even sauces. Now in the next section here, you can see I have used glass shelves. I feel that these white pieces look more elegant on glass. I mean, if I were to put white on white shelves, it would just pale away. First, I have this bowl with a lid for soup. This allows each person to take a portion of their own choice. Then I have two deep bowls. These are great for soft foods, such as mashed potatoes, rice, pasta, and fruit salads. This shape is great because it allows the use of a serving spoon without scraping the edges of your bowl. Below that, I have two swirl dishes. I bought these because I liked the shape, but later I found these to be a neat way to serve extra meatballs when we have spaghetti and meatballs. Again, one for each end of the table. These little filigree trays are from Ikea and I absolutely love the delicate design. I use these to corral small items such as these spoon holders and sauce bowls, which I use to serve gravy and hot sauces. These shallow serving bowls or plates are great for firm foods such as asparagus and carrots and this bowl is great for curries and softer vegetables. 
This cutie here is a French fry bowl. It's something like what you get at McDonald's in that cardboard fry holder. And this is my favorite dim sum service plate. And these I use more for desserts. This is an ideal size for stir fries with a bit of gravy as the sides are raised. These bowls are good for curries and stews. Again, two are needed so we don't have to keep passing food around. These are both condiment serveware. This one allows for the main to be served in this bowl and the condiments placed here, while this one is only for the condiments. This is my favorite cheese board, which also doubles as a charcuterie board, and this oval bowl is great for relishes. This bowl here is what we use for rice if we are serving buffet style, but if you know any other more specific use for this, do let me know in the comments below. And this is a dish pie. My mom usually uses this for her lemon meringue pie. From the freezer to the oven and then to the dining table it goes. And these are Asian noodle bowls. And these are Asian soup noodle bowls. These are Asian noodle soup bowls and this little bowl attached to the end for adding some extra chili flakes for those with a more tolerant palate. This one has bigger bowls so I use this for serving a variety of sliced fruits. You can also serve things like nuts and dried fruit in this. These are platters. The bottom one is ideal for roast and for hot or cold meats. This is a 16 inch platter, which is ideal for a family of six to eight people. Now this oval dish here is for entrees and salad courses. And it's also good for sliced meat surrounded by a veggie garnish. These plates are ideal for single servings of pasta. Now, this is a condiment holder, which I use mostly for Thai noodles, chili flakes, sugar, finely chopped bird's eye chili in vinegar, and crushed peanuts. If you want me to show you how I make a quick Thai noodle, then let me know in the comments below. This deep bowl with a wide rim is actually a designer piece by Hugh Jordan, and it's used mainly for pastas and salads. All right, now let's go over to Mum's collection. The one thing I want to point out, if you haven't already noticed, is that Mum's collection is mostly clear, while mine is mostly white. These are her stemmed glasses, which I have paired together with these two gorgeous water carafes and a clear ice bucket, complete with tongs. And these are all my breakfast silverware. These are for butter and jam, one for each end of the table, and corralled here are the syrup jugs, a cheese shaker, more syrup jugs, and a milk jug. And these tiny bowls are used for serving a touch of cinnamon for coffee. Then I have this pudding or dessert dish with the matching bowls for individual servings, and this jelly bowl, which can also be used for punch, maybe if you're serving two to three people. These are serving bowls for Indian sweets, which are usually served in small amounts, and I also use this to serve baklava. Now this is a chip dish with a smaller bowl for dip. It's what you call a chip and dip. In this low shelf, I have tucked away some banana split bowls and these are my glass coasters in here. Now let's take a look at the bottom shelves. These are oven proof pie casseroles and this is a parfait glass, which can also be used for trifle. And I also have got a cut glass fruit dish at the bottom with another one of my mom's round glass bowls. In here is a punch bowl with cups, and under that are my mom's and mine combined collection of tempered glass rectangular coasters for hot dishes. You can also use these as charcuterie boards if you like. Below that, chafing dishes that my mom used to have. We decided to keep the dishes because they're still in excellent condition, even though we've done away with the chafing dishes, and I'm sure these are gonna come in handy if we're doing a brunch or a buffet. In the third cabinet, we have these soup dishes with lids, which I have shown you in my thrift shop haul video. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave you a link down below. And below that are eight of the heaviest plates I could have ever bought. I only use this for buffet settings, but I'm honestly looking for someone who'll take them off me. And in the last cubby, I have all my placemats that are white. And lastly, I have these two rattan baskets, which hold my cloth napkins, and also a variety of colored paper napkins. So that completes my serveware cabinet tour. I have added as much explanation of the purpose of each dish 
so you can buy what you feel will suit your family's needs. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are new. It means a lot to me to know that my content is appreciated by all of you. Until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.